Hi, this is Ron Martinson of ronmartblog.com and welcome to another video demonstration. Um, this is going to be a video of the Zenfolio, so I'll enter in my uh, URL and this takes me to the home page where a nice flash um, slideshow begins and you'll see I have my custom logo down here and then I have um, a link to my portfolio, link to my blog, and about. Um, if I scroll down from here, there is actually a copyright, uh, which by default isn't shown, which I actually kind of like. It's a nice, clean uh, looking UI uh, right from the start. Um, you'll notice that I have a custom favorite icon here, um, and that my um, account name, Ron Mart, is part of the uh, web address, so pretty handy. And if I click on a photo in the gallery, um, there it'll take me straight to the proper gallery, which this is in people. And so you'll see there's all my people uh, images. And then I can choose to go to a particular photo and I can click on it and it will bring it up into a nice zoomed in window. Um, I can continue navigating from here. Or I also have the option of just starting my slideshow in full screen mode. And then as I do this, it skips along to additional images. If I can go faster, I can use the arrow keys. Or I can let it go at its normal pace. Um, I can pause the slideshow. I can go forward. I can go backwards. I can resume. And I can jump to other images. And exit. So again, very nice slideshow feature. If I click on my portfolio link, I'll see people, places, and transportation. These are the galleries that I set up. I go to places. I notice that this one behaves exactly the other gallery that I set up. I can go back to portfolio. Transportation. I can take a photo here, and let's say um, I want to see the XF data. That information is available. Um, I've actually hidden it on this particular photo, but um, that functionality exists. Let's go back in here into People, and let's say that I want to buy this shot. So let's figure out what I want to buy. I want to buy in a fine art. This is a custom print that I've created. And so I can now say, yes, I'll take one of those. That would not be great. And then um, I'm going to drag the photo into the placeholder. And then I'm going to say, add to cart. I can preview and configure. This is, shows me how it's going to be laid out. It's 16 by 9, so that all looks good. I can see that I have my shopping cart that has one item. I can view it. I can come in here and say, you know what, let's just go ahead and check out now. When I do that, it's going to have all my registration information. And then I can actually do a guest checkout if I like. I can enter in my shipping information. And then along the way, it'll ask me for um, my payment and um, also my delivery options, which for this, I actually have a feature set up um, for custom delivery in my studio. So I've gotten back here. Let's go back into the portfolio. And then let's also go in and look at a photo and say, you know what, I really like this shot. I'm going to add that to my favorites. And then I'm going to go also say, I really like this uh, New York shot as well. Let's add that to my favorites. And you'll see when I do that, this keeps incrementing. So when I come here, I see this favorites gallery. This is my personal favorites. And if I want to share this, this will send an uh, email to the photographer, meaning this isn't going to go on the internet or to any individual. It's going to go just to me, Ron Martinson, um, and this is so my clients uh, or like a, 
a magazine or something like that wants to buy my photos, they can pick what they want, and then they can send me an uh, email saying, hey, these are the ones I want. Love that feature. I have that happening uh, all the time where uh, I need clients to send me the URLs. That's kind of difficult. This is a really great way to do that. Um, I have a link here where they can actually go to my blog and open up in a new window so it doesn't uh, end up being a pain. Um, you'll notice just as a point of reference down here at the bottom, we actually have a discount for Zenfolio on the blog. So this is a cool way um, for you to jump right in and get your discount. Um, I have a ebook that I'm selling about printing 101. And so now I can go view my uh, ebook in a PDF viewer. Um, I'm not too crazy about Apple's PDF viewer, but uh, if you were on a PC, you'd see uh, Adobe Reader. And then um, the about page is a nice customized page where I've sent my logo or my image and then some text, um, a little contact information. Um, I can enter in uh, my name and um, uh, send a message. This is really cool. I click on that, it actually shows my name so screen scrapers won't see that. Um, and then I can follow on Facebook and Twitter. Um, this is some data that I had from before, so sorry about that. Um, and then we can go do a um, clients page. This is a special clients access page, um, which this is enter your access code. So I'll tell my client your code is show me. Uh, I've actually put it on here for this demo. And when I click go, this is the most simple version. But all it's doing is taking it to the friendly name show me gallery. So um, that really works kind of simple there. But if I wanted to pass per word the tag list gallery, um, I could do that as well. So you'd actually get prompted twice, uh, one for the gallery name and the one for the password. Um, and I click on this, it takes me back to the home page. So nice clean layout. I uh, really like the slideshow here. Uh, nice kind of impressive. Uh, first impression, and I'm pretty happy with Zenfolio.